Well, um, Mr. Ifosa is so gay. I'm not jobless, in case that's what you want to know. I really have a good job. But if you, if you say that educating our people historically makes me jobless, then I'd rather be very jobless. So, thank you for the subtle insults no harm in close to do i don't a higiosas evans i don't know of that entity no harm but if it's very important i can ask questions about that if it's very important i can ask questions about that Yeah, general questions on uh, Omoka Comrade Uyek, man. General questions on Benin history. If I'm able to answer them, I will try and answer them, but I will be very brief so that I can take all the questions. And uh, if I'm unable to answer them, if it's a very interesting topic, I could find that and I could do something about that. Uh, good evening, good evening, good evening. Uh, I don't miss uh, engineer in Nabulele Peter or Saume. Someone just called me very jobless. The guy who called me jobless, we look at engineer in Nabulele, is asking me how much for CEO for that means I have a job. Uh, if, I, we will, um, if you can chat me up outside, you can you can add me up on Facebook. Imagine I'm over here, on Facebook. So that we can talk business out of um, this platform, or maybe one of these days now I'll talk about my job and what I do. So, so people doesn't think I'm jobless. I'm not jobless. I have a job. Where do you work? I really miss you. Yes. So sorry. Now nah, network. Oh, that be my fault. <laughs> the network just went off. The thing came up around ten after ten. Now Ete, can't it come up? Ete is you, is really 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 nice. Okay, it's really really nice in Benin. It's about the messed up yesterday. Uh, thanks for coming out. Yes, it's very important. We didn't finish. I think I was almost done with yesterday's topic, Mr. Eve Ike. Uh, 
<laughs> Love you too. Thank you. Uh, okay, some person said I didn't. Fi I think I finished yesterday's topic now. I already did about for three minutes, so I think I, I already exhausted it. I remember that where it got wrong was um, I was explaining a do how a do was sacrificed and all that. That's where the network poofed because I went back to check the video. Mr. First or some other good evening. So today, you ask a question. I'm, I'm, yeah, I think everybody will miss that program. So um, today you have the platform is open for you to ask a question. Yeah, yeah. They might be on. Yeah, someone just said I'm jobless. Things like this usually pain me. Things like this, they pay me very well. Most especially when I'm being accused wrongly. I decided not to come online for six months. Anyway, when you do things like this, you have to grow some thick skin. I think that's exactly what I need to grow. Why don't you talk about the history of Udo? There's a reason I usually don't talk about the history of Udo or haven't talked about the history of Udo. They're like, um, they're like uh, specific reasons because there are two school of thought. I'm yet to, <laughs> I get, <laughs> I always get wine. Oh, I always get wine for a house. It's just that sometimes I feel like taking it. Sometimes I just feel like red wine. Very good for the heart. So I was too. <laughs> Uh, buy one today. I always get one for us, red one. <laughs> Some people said I didn't finish it yesterday, but I, at least I explained what Ubinin means. I explained what um, Igodo Igodo means. I think I also explained what Edo means and how Edo Edo was created. Uh, how a door was created and all that. So, I think I was done with yesterday's topic. I think the only one I didn't talk about was that other segment. Uh, <laughs> I look different though. I I bad my hair, see. I look different. I don't have time to go shave for over a month. I will go here. No, I mean the Obama, the Corona, na yena. So, love you, see. Okay, I think I will be able to explain that one. Okay, I will. Um, do I have a pencil? I can write that one down. Mr. Eddie, or more Susi, or more Susi, 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 Susi. Yes, I no no. There's still a whole lot of things I would have talked about. Uh, I was just done with it. I was done with that historical segment. Um, there's still other stuff I wanted to talk about, basically. So um, that I didn't talk about. Urumi. I think we'll have to create a day for ASAN history. Or probably we'll create a month to deal with some of these ASAN history. Uh, DJ Sati Best. We'll create a time to talk about the ASAN history. Uh, although it's going to be quite controversial. It's going to be quite controversial because uh, of some of the sensitivity around those parts of a doshi. <laughs> okay, that one is a simple question. I will just quickly answer that one, Mr. Modi Eddie. Uh, <laughs> I'll quickly answer that one. <laughs> Are you married? No, I'm not married. 
and how many wife would you like to marry? <laughs> uh, one, 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 one wife. I don't, I don't like stress. I don't like stress. Do you know what family love you are greeting is from? Mm, I should be able to. Not that um, I have books. I have books that I will just go bring out from my chef. I'll go find a book now. Uh, I'll go look for a book now. Then that book I should be able to and become a member. They want to know about it, bro. So I should be able to get that one, but I have to bring the book out. So, oh, uh, love you, wa, love you, wa. Where did I keep it? Uh, uh, that book okay I think um, maybe people will have to excuse me for a few minutes uh, maybe people will have to excuse me some few minutes so that I can go see whether I can get a book so that I can answer that brother that's a which family greet um, do you know what family greet love you are what family love you are greeting and from uh, something, okay just I I don't really know where. <laughs> oh, anyway, not three wife. Oh, Basse, I'm coming. Come in, just a minute. Is it gonna have your
Sorry. Mm. Oh. I didn't see the book. Mommy, I think I left it in the office. A dog ya weary. Make on a living history. At least everybody understand my history. Do you know the history of a dog ya weary? I think that's a name. A dog ya weary. I think. Um, I don't know the history. Who needs it? Yeah, it's a dogia where he, at least everybody understood what he was saying. Bishop, a dogia where. I think um, there's a work written by Dr. Aisha Nehagusa. You should, um, you should, uh, <laughs> good evening, my brother. Okay, all right. This, uh, I'm trying to read Yes, there's a book I'm looking for. Okay, what's going to happen is that I think I left that book. The book is from Birth to Death, uh, a compendium of about 14 top Benin historians. The idea said Dr. Aisyah Nehagosa, uh, Bonhomme, uh, Professor Imaswen, Professor Yula was finally Professor. Uh, Benson or Sadolos Sarime, uh, quite, 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 uh, uh, Akona Bonifo, quite a very rich book. The title is called From Bet to Death, and it was compiled by uh, the Yasser of Benin. So we have a detailed, oh, oh, my own book. Okay, I think my book. Okay, I have a book. I'm coming. Sorry, I don't even know where I keep all these books. Uh, sorry. I'm trying to. How goes that? So, I was not testing. Stay away from chloroform. Uh, oh, it is here. Can I get books? Okay. None of none of them is here. I thought. So, in in our next class, I should be able to provide answer to the family that agrees live you are. But you can always get that online. Uh, Benin money greetings. Love you one. Laowe. Laowe. Hi. I I think I should know that Laowe. Is it also? Uh. To sell us the history of the name and Isan. Ah, too many questions. So, oh. am I supposed to? Wait, where do I even start? Sir? Okay, I think the first. Okay, I think. Let me. 
uh, let me quickly answer this one. I'll just choose. <laughs> Sour Christopher. I'll just choose the easy ones first. I like to know the connection of Igwebe and Benin. Yeah, that one is quite an easy history. Uh, Igwebe was established in the year 1516 AD. By okay now between 1515 and 1516, Igwebe and again Ago Enibode, Ago Enibode, Centering Camp. Igweben and Ago Enibode, they were established almost at the same time, between 1515 and 1516. All right, between 1515 and 1516. Now, uh, the Benins are very specific about that war because uh, there was a letter that was written by. A Portuguese merchant that was in Benin to um, to King Paul of Portugal in Lisbon, and that letter is quoted to be the oldest letter written in Nigeria. That letter was dated October 20, 1516. It was written by one Duarte Perez with the instruction of Obaisigi to King Paul. Of Portugal all right it is that is why the Benins know the year that the Benins fought war with the the Ida people the Benin Ida war took place between 1515 to 1516 because in the content of that letter dated October 20 1516 it was stated clearly clearly that Benin were already a year into the war with the Ida people so that means the the Benin the Ida war was between 1550 and 1516. So uh, most of the artilleries, I mean, in my show, Nikwe Udwe Udwe Ben Igunayon Arm of Eben Eben uh, the present the Ogboka region. On their way coming back after Benins have won that war, on their ways coming back, they now settled at at a place now called Igweben. They were Eben casters. Uh, no, no, no. If I, that's not how to spell it. It's Ago. Ago, it's A-G-O. There's no arrow. Then Enibode. There's an E. E-N-I-B-O-D-E. -E. Ago Enibode. That is Sentry Camp. Washers. Uh -huh. So at, at one point in time, after the Benins have defeated the Ida people, then we now created a centering camp for Benin warriors to watch if the Ida people will retaliate or will gather their soldiers to want to wage war again with the Benin. So a centering camp was formed called Ago in the body. It's a Benin word that means a centering camp. So it is now what eventually ch uh, changed over time to called that's where they're now called uh, again a body mm, again a body the original word is the original Benin word is ago in the body mm. I think he's an Igbo guy. Mm. So I think that's what happened. That's how the Igbo weapon was formed. So some of the Benin uh, military warriors who was returning back, who was returning back when the war has been won against the Ida people, and then they now situate themselves at a place uh, they're not eventually named because there were more more of them majority of them were from Iduen Ben Iduen Ben present day Sokwamba so they now formed a community called Igwe Ben 
Mm. So the community, it's not local government eventually, Igweben, was established almost the same time that again body was established because it was during the the beginning that was between 1515 and 1516. So um, that's what really transpired about that. Someone asked a question today. Um, I said I was going to answer it about the movement of Ikbe to Jatuzwe from Benin. Uh, I think in other of our subsequent classes, we will um, we'll dwell more. We'll take some classes about essence. Um, I think what will happen is specifically probably next Sunday, this coming Sunday, we'll take a class on ASAN. All right. Then the following upper Sunday, we'll take a class on either ASACO or one in any of the uh, big towns in Owa or any of the big towns in ASACO. And so we'll be doing a rotation and so that everybody can be carried along so that it doesn't have to stand all Benin Benin. We all understand that everybody ancestrally Benin people, but it's also good at the present um, distinction amongst us. We should also take the history of our distinct selves while maintaining ancestral home Benin. So, uh, not only, yes, the someone asked me this question before now, and uh, let me quickly reiterate it. Now, every EASS. Uh, EASS rotation is not hereditary. So, anam uh, anam Once um, someone is being given the title of EASS, that person forfeits his family greeting and pick up the Laviese greeting. So automatically, all his immediate family start greeting Laviese. But that does not mean that that is their uh, original greeting. For example. Uh, I think the only exception to that law is the present Eyasa of Benin. The present Eyasa of Benin do not greet Laviese, Chief Samigbe. He maintained the family greeting, but every other Eyasa before him greeted Laviese. So it's not just only Eyasa Noyeme. Whether Eyasa Ekmenedi, Eyasa Igodao, Eyasa Ode, Eyasa. The father of Utete Negabi, uh, Omo Saige, yes, Omo Saige, uh, Humphrey, Omo Saige, and whether it's yes or Baseki, yes, uh, I know quite a lot of them. The the yes man that was from uh, from uh, Onichaolona, uh, Obodumbem, okay, he couldn't speak Benin, and so the only <laughs> It was always fun of always using the word obodom bem. So the Benin's now call him Iyase Obodo Bem. <laughs> then you ask Iyase no M and then the, we have this uh Iyase Okurotun. Uh -huh. He spent most he was born and bred up in Ekiti because his father had fought in the Benin Ekiti wars. So he was born and so he, he also had difficulty speaking Benin. He spoke more of Yoruba than but he's a pure breeded Benin man. A lot of Eyasas like that. So they all greet Laviese except the present Eyasa. Uh, Imagweo. Is there any detailed write up about Imagweo? Yeah. Imagweo have a lot of detailed write-ups. In short, they are story play, they are playwrights on Imagweo. Imagweo have, have a lot of detailed story that you can be... Uh, what question is that? So I didn't see that question. So I can't tell. I was told that my great-grandfather was among... Carried... A Daniel Omobu Day. I don't... I, I didn't get the last part. Kara Eben, that carried Eben, or I, I don't know that part. That part of, I didn't get the last part of the question. Um, I didn't get. Uh, please, I, w I would like to know about my question. So, what question is that, please? 
Is there any detailed right up? There's, yeah, there's a lot of detailed right up got about Imagwil. Uh, tell us about Ila Wure of Usain. I think in one of the questions I have answered that Ila Wure of Usain, Letema, Legema, we are part of the convoy that followed um, um, Oromi and Dan to Benin. All right. So uh, something really happened. The Ella were stayed behind. All right, in in the present day Usain, a place you now call the Usain. All right, and promised to join Oromia. Uh, he now said he ah, he promised to join the Oromia in five days time. All right, five days time in Benu Sien. Yabawa in the next five days. Okay. Uh, eventually, he did not. He fell in love with the, his present um, area where he, he, he stood behind, and that's why it's now called Usen. Usen is a word from the word Usien. Usien means five days time. So he had said he was going to join the Aromi and down to Benin in five days time. He eventually didn't. That is why it's um, it is traditional for it was Aromi and did not give a proclamation that for uh, for being rebellious for having uh, lied that he would join him in five days time and he didn't. That uh, on no account should uh, Elawure and um, him ever say so. That's why. Lawure and every other Benin physically do not meet. Physically do not meet. Uh, uh, the question is about the first son of the Oba not staying in the palace. Uh, no, 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 no. The first one of the other being do not stay in the palace. But I don't know what the question is. Is it that why is it that the first one of the other being do not stay within inside the palace? Most of the other sons and daughters do not stay inside the palace, even in the old Benin. They all have quarters. Um, they all have quarters. Aviene. AVM and those are the quarters of the um, those are the quarters of the princes of Benin. AVM. That that's where I'm ancestrally from. That's where my ancestors migrated to to our present uh, community. We my ancestors migrated from AVM. Uh -huh. uh, the quarters of the Obas princes, Obas children, sons. Uh -huh, it's Avieme. Okay. And um, that is not the Daikeno. Not the Daiken. Not the Daiken. So that's where you have the Chifine and the Osoidin taking care of Obas children. And then the princesses, they, they stayed more of. Um, the quarter the princesses stays, I have forgotten the Uwees of Benin. I think they stay at area. No, 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 no. Area. No, no. The quarter of the princesses is not area. The area is the quarter of the concubines of the Oba of Benin. And uh, where they have been delivered, um, how is Elawere of Osan related to the palace? I've just, I have just said it. They might have been cousins. They were emissaries. They were part of. They were part of uh, the people who followed Oromi and Dan from Ife. Uh, how is Orion? Orion was not created. Orion has been has been there from time immemorial. There's no story. It's just like asking how was Oredo created? How was uh, um, Ovia created? These stories have been there for a very long time. 
but what i can say that orion one was largely to a very to a very long time an independent um a territories from benin until about the time of by hengbu danobo is it not better to speak other language while telling benin history uh we have a wide coverage of people and that are not only restricted to benin so there are other isans isakos and every other presence, like every other non edos who are also interested in Benin matter. So I try to get Benin history to not just Benin people alone, but as much as any other persons that that learn that wants to learn or that wants to know our rich um, culture, tradition and history. Okay. How many tribe that has the same ancestral greeting in Benin? Uh, I think Usien would have been U X I E N R O E N. There's an I U X I E N R O E N Usien. Yes, that's true, Linda Cassidy. The first Daiken is called Koboyuwa. Is the patriarch of the Owan people. Koboyuwa is the patriarch. It is where most of the Owan people uh, sprang out from. Most of the Owan people. The patriarch, Koboyuwa. Koboyuwa. That's the first Edaiken. It was called Koboyuwa. And it was the first one of a Baiwai that died and painfully died he and his immediate younger brother Ezuwara. Right. How many languages do they speak in you know, I think about one language. They speak a variant of something that looks like Yoruba but not actually Yoruba. Then obviously Benin. Well, I wouldn't say two kings do not stay in one palace. As an Edai king, it's not a king. I, I, even at that time, it's not even a Edai king. Now, to be an Edai king, a lot of persons have tried to ask that, yes, it is true that a Edai king and the Oba do not see face to face. That is very correct. But what people do not know is that, for example, a lot of persons have seen the first son of the Oba of Binyoko no Hwa. And the uh, uh, crown uh, princess Zeleha with his father by why the second several times and they begin to say that uh, why I, I, why is it that uh, they heard that a daiken do not uh, it's a taboo for the daiken to see his father then um, yeah it's true it's still a taboo till date the only thing is that we don't understand the what the difference between the first son of the Oba of Bini and a Daiken. Now, for you to be an a Daiken, you have to perform some certain rituals. You have to be initiated in several court groups. And what I mean, court groups, obviously, like the, the, the palace societies, you have to go through some ladder. Then you have to perform, perform some, some several rites. Now, to not be given, to not be given the full clemency of a Daikenship. When you now become a full-fledged Daiken, when he becomes a full-fledged Daiken, he will no longer be able to see his father. So what we have now is Okonohua, oldest or eldest prince, and not a Daiken. There is no a Daiken here, but we just call him a Daiken because it's an actually an a Daiken de facto. When he eventually performs the right and the ability for him to perform the right is exclusively dependent on his father. If he wants him to become a full-fledged daiken, we will ask him to perform those rites. And whenever, uh, when he performs those rites, he will no longer be having those so much freedom. He will not be restricted to the lower Oselu. All right, where we now have his palace. But what we have now, we don't have a daiken yet. We only have the Oba. And his first son, Okonohua. Hmm. Who is the father of Iken? Uh, history do not really remember who is the father of Iken. 
or if there is a if there is a father i really don't know who is his father but for all the books i've read i don't think any person uh, there's any history that I ever remembered it can all we know that it can became very very famous and um became very very famous and um in one of these things he he <clears throat> Oba sent him to be the head of the military group to to come to fight with the own do people all right and uh, he won that war but when he was leaving for that war he now said that um, Oba should choose to delegate someone to take care of his household before he returns so instead Obana chose his first surviving son that shows his first son to now become a dai or which is now abridged as a dai ken today so it was actually when it that when he Ken was going to the war he, he told the oba was of why the first that um, uh, oba should delegate any person any person anybody to take off his household before he returns from the war so obana delegated his first son so uh, by that a die means a holder on behalf someone in trust of something on behalf of some someone that is what being called a die so in this case it was a diary can it was holding a position on behalf of it can so uh abridged as a die can so after that tradition of after Oba sent the son, he can didn't return. He cannot go to Nomagunle. He won the war, but he sent all his troops back to Bini while he stayed behind. So the Ondo people recouped and killed him. So a parable came out of it. He cannot go to no Goku, no Magule. He can the lover, uh, an expert in warlery, but uh, he, he seems not to understand when to escape and not and when to fight that that sort of a thing for uh, i don't i don't know mm. that how many tribes are in benin how many tribes are in benin or how many tribes are in a do state e -B. Uh, i don't know whether you got that spelling correct I have never heard of E B I or were you, are you trying to spell Ibiwe? I B I W E. I have never heard of E B I W A Y. Maybe the spelling, sir. If it's Ibiwe, I, I know of Ibiwe. I B I W E. Ibiwe. Mm hmm. How many tribes are there in Benin? Is it how many tribes are there in Benin or how many tribes are there in a do state? I, I, I really don't understand. Uh -huh, so it be with. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, and that's how you spell it. I-B-I-W-E. How many tribes are in a do state? Mm -hmm. Let's just say about four that are ancestrally from a dosage, that are ancestrally connected to being of five or six. Mm, let's just say four, predominantly four. I'll be five. You have Benin, you have a son, you have Owa, you have a Sako, you have Akoko Edo. Mm, let's just say five. The other ones are more like migrants. I yeah, love man. What other mentor was used to support Benin Street Revenue apart from Aura Record? Mm -hmm. uh, evidences apart from Aura Record. Art. Art. It was even more efficient. Now, Aura Record was not the, even the most efficient way passage of Benin history. The most efficient passage. Um, of Benin history um, was the was true act okay when I mean act whether the bronze casting the iron casting 
or the wood carving or the ivory carving these were like the four techniques that was used so something like what you 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 term modern um, writing techniques uh, the, the bronze casting the bronzes were not made for for only for spiritual purposes it had more historical purpose than even for spiritual purpose for example um during the during i'll give you i'll make an elaborate example now during if you check that's what some people really did not know uh, everybody knows queen edia's head all right what a lot of you did not take cognizance is that i want to open you people's eye now uh, benin did not originate from anywhere gdab Benin did not originate from anywhere. So I think I've answered that a lot of times. If anybody originated from anywhere, we Benin people did not originate from anywhere. We were created here in our land by God Almighty. Just like other older civilizations were. We were not we did not originate from anywhere. We were created here in Edo land. So we've gone past that. Uh, like I was saying, sorry, Lyndon Cassidy. Uh, there was this scenario of uh, when Obaisige was... Um, no, sorry, I was talking about Quinidia. Let me talk about Quinidia, then talk about Obaisige. Now, so that to reinforce uh, what I was trying to explain to you. Now, there's a scenario that Quinidia said, what a whole lot of persons did not know is that when you look at Quinidia's head very well, you first of all, so like, there are 11 things that like, that looks like a guac butter that surrounds the hair, that forms the... the the uh, the end curve on its head the end curve like this if you check it if you count it the original one is 11 those they are statues of bishops bishops so the mm. art covers at that time was trying to reveal that in that part of benin during a part of benin history or the era of that benin time there were already catholic bishops now, if you look at that statue very well, go and look at Queen Quinidia's head, the famous Quinidia's head. You count those, there are 11 statues on his head. When you look at, if you zoom in very well and look at the statues, you look at um, the caps of the bishop. So, the act, the artist that created it gave more explanation than you and I understood. So, it was a lot of history of what was going on in the, during the era of Quinidia. Like, for example, there's also this, uh, there's a bird that featured very well during Obasigay's time that um, during a festival of Benin, there's a festival in Benin called Ugyo, Ugyo, the old bird. Uh -huh. So, during when Obasigay was going to uh, Ida, when he was marching his warrior to Ida, there was a bird that was crying, Oyao, Oyao, Oyao. Now, Oyao means, um, it was kind of a, a, a sound of lamentation. Oh, so it was predicted that Benins were going to lose that war. So, uh, Obaisige uh, 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 called on his archers to shoot down the bird. So that bird was shot down and it was used uh, for sacrifice. Eventually, Benin won that war. So, in every Igwe festival, there is a particular day called Ugyo, where every chief will hold... A symbol of that bird, a carved symbol of that bird. All right. So, to you, to a non-historian or a non-carvers, they'll feel that that bird is just the bird, but it has an history, and that is the symbolism of that history is what is being maintained that very day. Now, there is also uh, uh, aside artworks. All right, that we use in passing down of history down songs and dances that's why i wanted to talk about ikuokmanya in osaya wedo 201 songs and dances that god used in blessing the edo people uh -huh. songs and dances were also used for example it is believed that when obayengbo that the, the son of obarogwa was to when he was traveling down to lagos Eko, to check how the colony uh, founded by his father was faring the his boat capsided all right and um and um and the drowned and all that some sort something like that now there is a dance uh 
uh, I've forgotten the name, name of the song. I will remember the song. That dance is done in one of the ceremonies. If you see the sun, the dance, the, you see the dance struggling like they'll dance towards the right and dance towards the left, dance towards the right and dance towards the left like that. If you, if you understand it well, when they are dancing, they will hold their hands and dance. It's a, it's a dance now. It's a famous dance in Benin during the Gwe. I remember the, the, the name of the dance. Uh, uh, oh. Oh. I should be able to remember. If I don't remember today, just remind me any other time. That, that dance was trying to portray during when we were struggling, when the chip was about to capsize. So, artworks, oral history, dances and songs and dances were three instrumental tools that the Benin used in documenting their history. All right. Oba Nubagwe. Um, it is not an Oba Do. Ana Ate Oba Nason Tomin Dev. Its original name is Osi. Uh, Oso Oso Pagara. Oso Pagara. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's a story that uh, the palace doesn't love anybody talking about. The story happened during the time of Oba. Obanosa. Oba Obanosa, when he was Prince Osifo, had a rivalry. His name was Oso. Os I'll get his correct name. So Oso Pagara of Ugbagwe was. He hailed from Ugbagwe, but he was Ogiazenwa. No, he was a head of all the witches and wizards in the then Benin Kingdom or Benin Empire. So he had bragged. To the young Prince Osifo, that when he or So the young Prince Osifo had had one motive. Now you got your baby, the first person he will annihilate or he will he will kill will be that Osa Pagara. Uh -huh. So but Osa Pagara told him that Obo uh, Obo no no be who be who Ogba Yowa. I don't know whether you people understand that parable. Obono Biehu Vehu Ogba Yowa. So he was trying to tell the Oba that, yes, I know you have the power to kill me, but if you eventually kill me, shortly after you kill me, you will also join the ancestors. Eventually, what happened? It's a very interesting topic. But I think I'll find time to do that topic. His original name is called Oso Pagara Nugbagwe. Ana Atedona Oba Nason. There was a war with uh, the the Benin called that war Ubugi, uh, 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 It was a war where Obabanosa slaughtered more than one thousand five hundred witches and wizards, and that were loyal to Sopara. It's a very interesting topic uh, of bravery of Obana. <laughs> very interesting topic, <laughs> but I don't want to I don't want to talk so much about it. So that near attain on my hacking it. The last day is so in the city. Who was the Oba of Obagwe? I just I've answered you, Tommy. Uh, you can ask me in private so that I will tell you that story. Uh, yes. Uh, I do is Otogbe Otalaka. Listen to a lot of songs. Otobo Talaka Ivania na bidu rame Ivania na bidu Ivania na bidu Please, no drinking when educating diverse people with different backgrounds and culture. Uh, am I really drinking? I'm just... I'm just... So that <clears throat> my tongue shouldn't be dry, sir. I'm responsible. Ogienagbon. So if that um, touches on your sensitivity, I do sincerely apologize. Uh, okay, Prince Ade West Ade Jale Olere Wanju. You sound you're like Yoruba. But where where do Ife people migrate from? You have to first of all answer that question. Where do Ife people migrated from? If you answer that question, I will take you serious. Then after that, the oldest civilization in the world. Is the Ethiopia civilization where did the Ethiopia people migrate from? 
So these are things you have to answer. Your own people. Now let's start from you are you, you are Yoruba, obviously. Where do the Ife people migrate from? Answer that question because I've never really heard where Ife any Ife people say they migrated from somewhere. Other than do the warfare from the sky and founded Ife, and that's not true. Nobody falls from the sky. Now you now tell me where do Ife people migrate from? Where did their battalas, the earliest the earliest Ife people migrate from? Okay? So when you tell me that, I might be able to take you serious. And the oldest civilization in the world is quoted to be Ethiopia, where some Egyptians migrated from. So the oldest civilization, assuming I'm wrong, if you are correct, assuming the oldest civilization is Ethiopia or Egypt or wherever, that oldest civilization, where did they migrate from? So that means there were civilizations, there were people who did not, if everybody migrated from some place, the original people of planet Earth, where did they migrate from? They have to be an origin. They have to be a base. Even, I'm a student of science. One of the first things you've been told, that evolution occurred in at the same different places on the surfaces of the Earth. So that, that is where, even in the principle of creation, from scientific perspective, so there were creation. Creation did not spring out from one. There's nothing like the... The, the seeds of creation. There's nothing like where creation started. So that means there were multiple creation theory at different places of Earth. So Benin's don't didn't migrate from anywhere. So if the Yorubas migrated from somewhere, that's not our headache. I don't come online every day, man. What happened is that I come online Sundays, except uh uh except um except if there are emergency i need to deal with this every sunday like yesterday i was not supposed to come online today yesterday there was a network problem so i posted that i'll be online today pictures exactly linda cassidy exactly just like the hieroglyphics picture writing used by the egyptian so the benin mode of uh history was also passed on through caverns at um, wood carvings, um, ivory carvings. Now, when you think a huge, they were mighty because um, Benin used to have one of the highest amount of um, uh, um, uh, uh, elephant reserve in the entire Nigeria at, at a place called Oegbeni, just above when you just when you just mount when you climb the Boba Hill, the first community you're gonna get there. Is Oe Oge Manigbeni. It was a guild. That's why a lot of people did not know. The, the there was a guild that was that specialized in elephant trapping and killing. Now for the for they were harvesting the tusk. The tusk was used for two major reasons: for historical passage of history, uh, for passage of history, uh, more appropriately, and for altar rites some of these things were uh, carvings of the altars so when you see when you see a huge tusk you see a whole lot of designs go and go and browse about the benin tusk you see a whole lot of artworks now the artist that created that will be able to tell you the story behind it the reign of the orbit took place uh, what what happened when that those things were being carved all right so there were also trophy heads. Now, when any when the Benin go for war, when they defeat that particular community or that particular town, they usually cut off the head of the ruler of that town or community and bring the heads to Benin. Now the Gum people we now we now mood the head with bronze and tell the story by doing other carvings around the head, and that signifies the story around it. No, no, no. It's not 8.30. Every Sunday by 8 o'clock. Um, can you list many tribes and nations? Benin conquered every single every single neighbor of theirs. Every no you, you can do the mathematics yourself. This is a do state. Look at every tribe around all of us. Look at every tribe around a do, a do state. Every tribe around a do state. The Edo people conquered all of them. There is never any history. You can show me in any of the Yoruba books. 
where it was stated by any Yoruba historian, by any European. You cannot, sh you cannot show me any of that book that it was stated that the Yoruba people in any war defeated the Edo people. I can show you from a lot of European records, a lot of Benin records, how many... Obviously, Yoruba was not synchronized. Yoruba was not one at the very beginning of history. The Ekiti people were different from Ijebu people. Ijebu people were different from Igba people. Igba people were different from Ife people. Ife people were different from Ibadan people. Ibadan people were different from Oyo people. So, Oyo people were different from Ilaje. So, there are about six tribes that are mixed up of Yoruba. They were not originally Yoruba. They all had, like, Ijebu believed that they came from Sudan. Ijebu people. So, they have their own different history. But politics brought all of them together and gave them Yariba or whatever. But in all of this, almost every of these people were defeated. The only one I can vouch for that the Benins did not defeat, that is because, not that they were too mighty, but then people defeat Oyo at one point in history. The Benins did not fight, did not defeat the Oyo people. Instead, a treaty was reached at um, a place now called Otum in present day Akiti state was the Oyo people. Now the reason was because everybody knows the history. Every Alafin of Oyo is the younger brother of every Oba of Benin. So that's why Oba decided not to conquer his own younger brother. So instead the treaty was reached where Oyo Empire got to the boundary between the old Oyo Empire and the Benin Empire. Okay, so about every other ethnic, we defeated the Ijebu. If you want if you want records, if you want references, I can get you references. Uh, join us 8 o'clock, uh, 8 p.m. on Sunday. I can get you references from Bradbury and AFC Rider, how the Benins defeated the Oyo people, the Benins defeated Ondo people, the Benins defeated Akure people, uh, the Benins defeated Ekiti people. In short, Ekiti at, in the early 80s, we're still paying tribute to the Obara Benin in early 80s early 80s we have all those records Ekiti people were still paying tribute in short there is a parable in Ekiti that as the Oba of Benin I can't you know I can't speak Yoruba the, there's the parable in Ekiti states that as the Oba of Benin wages war on earth so Ogbomo, Ogbomodu wages war in heaven so that shows that the fear that the Benin struck in the lives of the Ekiti people all right so in the 80s the Ekiti people were still paying tribute to the Benin in Magi, not a wear wear dance, so that's not a wear wear dance. There is a, a a mobile, not a mobile. There's a dance. This I want to know the history. About to do one thing, please. I think I've explained that already. Uh -huh. Okay, I think I've explained that one already. Something that uh, story that the Benins really don't talk about, not in the open. Uh, can you explain what happened between Obaisi and Imagwio? Imagwio and Obaisi. Ah, well, 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 well. Well, that's it's a little bit tricky. The story that is being put at that what happened to Imagwio might not be totally correct. That uh, old chief Olia's wife was Imagwio, then uh, Imagwio uh, Olia bragged that women should be forever trusted. Blah blah blah. Baisige, Baisige now use one of his uh, slaves. To, to test Imagwio, he tested Imagwio, Imagwio fell for it, and Imagwio slept with, uh, and the slave slept with Imagwio, then eventually Olea got to find that, Olea killed Imagwio, Olea now went to Ida people to come and wage war against, was hot, uh, wage war, blah, 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 blah. But I don't think that's what led to the Benin in that war. But that's what a whole lot of persons say led into a Benin. We have a contrary, we have a more research, more authentic that says that that's not what led. The Imago might not have even existed in Benin history. It was an ap apocryphal tale to really, to really cover up the true history that happened that led to the Benin Edao. 
No, no, I don't come online every day, uh, Mother Ieke Bolo Linda. I come online 8 p.m. every Sunday. So it's only when there is an important issue that needs to be trashed out that I just quickly come out so we can talk about it. Yes, I promise that probably this coming Sunday we'll dedicate it to Asan people in talking about more of Asan history this coming Sunday. So be patient with us. Uh, we'll deal with that. You are doing very well, my brother. We must. We are trying all the best. Please, can I have your phone number? Please, we want to know about the Boba River. Well, Boba River has been existing before the first human being, before the Benin person was created here. No, not 8.30 uh, Castro, no more. It's 8 o'clock, not 8.30. anybody who fell from this guy. I don't know about that. Many West yeah. African people might tell me. And that's what I'm saying. The Nubia, the land of Nubia, uh, well, many, not all. So Benin is an exception within my migrate from Nubia. That's what I've just said. I'm not saying you're not correct, but there's no story that ties us to the Nubia. What language did the Benin people speak? Edo language. Where did the Nubia people migrate from? So that's the question you should answer. Okay. No problem. Bibiana Ibodage. I just hope I'm able to help. Uh, my phone number. My phone number. My phone number is always 0813672162. I'll call again. I'll call again. Zero eight one three six seven two two one six two. I won't be able. There is a book on Benin circumcision. No Sadeba something on Benin circumcision. I will be able. Let me try and get that book. Hopefully, I know there's a book about um, circumcision. Once I get the book, I, it, wasn't, it wasn't really interesting to me when I was trying to read it three years ago. So you see, I never thought people, someone would be interested in that, you see. Something that you commonize eventually will come back and haunt you. But don't worry, we still have the book at the institute. So one of these week, before the week runs out, I'll just find time to go and read it through. So I'll be able to give you more um, a detailed um, uh, historical explanation to when second section of males started. I've already explained it. I've already explained it why they don't see. After this video, you go back. I already explained it why the Oba Bini and the Laure of Hussein don't see. Uh, well, that's your opinion. Prince Ade West Ade Jale, that's your opinion and it's and it's entirely personal. It's entirely personal. So I don't have any history about Ugi Wudu. Alright, if you know any person who knows the story of Ugi Wudu, I'll be very much happy to go and meet the person in the house to learn the story of Ugi Wudu. Alright, but I don't know. But there is a book that I might be able to consult that my Tells little bit, not detailedly, of Ugewudu uh, by Nyaweka, Evolution of Benin Chief Tensing Titles. He talked about, he tried to list almost all communities in present day Benin Kingdom and give a brief history of Ba, a lot of them. Some of them, not a lot of them. So, but it is not detailed. But uh, if, if I'm being obliged, if I have anybody who knows the story of Ugewudu and you are aware, if you come from Ugewudu, you can refer me to that person. I'll go and learn the history and I'll come to our live program and share that history with everybody. My throat is dry. Let me just sip some wine. Okay. Uh, I think I've already tried to answer that one to you. Well, um... I will have to disagree with you. There's nothing to fight about. Um, 
Oromian couldn't have defeated the Benin people when um, uh, there were people invading. Uh, Ife people are not known to be warriors. In short, Modakeke people sent on your Ife packing twice. Modakeke people, if you want that history written by Yorubas historians, I can I can oblige you with sending you a detailed. So Ife people are not warriors. They are. They are the least of the people. The, a, a quarter, a street in Bini will go, go on war with Ife people and defeat them. So Oromia couldn't have been uh, an exception to that. Uh, Oromia was a warrior because he, he has a Benin blood. Uh, true, Oromia came from Ife. Who was Oromia's father? Oduduwa, obviously. Where did Oduduwa come from? So when you're able to answer where Oduduwa came from, I'll be able to oblige you with your question. So tell us where Oduduwa came from. If you're able to tell me where Oduduwa came from, then I will not ask. Because you don't talk about the history of his son and not talk about the history of his father. What you guys have is talk about Oromia. What we have as Bini is talk about Oduduwa. Tell us where Oduduwa came from. Then I'll be able to tell you where I'll be able to tell you whether the question he asked is true or false. Thank you. Good evening. Please try and talk about this young politician, the young people. Uh, no, 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 I don't talk about politics. It's not my juris. It's not my jurisdiction. <laughs> uh, please, you know the names and the function of the terms. Uh, no, I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't know that. Uh, go and ask a bomb. A bomb might be able to tell you. <laughs> a bomb might be able to tell you about the chance but all I know that Quinidia was an institution that created one of the most um, one of the most uh, scientific a uh, magical scientific inventory which is being called a Konorue the purity of the mind there is an institute the Benins had already created a place a center where you purge people of they are bad witches or wizard. It's called a Konorwe. It was instituted by Queen Idia. But I don't know how she did it. The Ga people in Fine Burnsy, I've been to, I was in, I was in Accra, February 1st to February 3rd, 2019. So it is not the other way around. The Ga people came from Benin. The Asian Ga people, most especially the Nongwa people. So I can tell you the story. If you want the video, you can inbox me. I'll show, I'll send you the video. There is a there is a festival. There's a festival they hold in in Accra, first Saturday of every July every year. That that name of the festival is called Obeneshimo. It is a festival, and that festival is not 12 a.m. When we went to Accra, they danced, they danced, and they took us into their most sacred shrine, the Obene Shimo Shrine. In case you don't know what Obene, they are referring to Benin. Now, this, the, the festival is the day they left Benin. So, I've answered your question. So, Benin Kona come from Ghana. When I just said there is a festival in Ghana, in Accra, by the Nongwa, most especially, there are different clans that mix up of the Ga people. The oldest amongst all the clans that mix up of the Ga people is called the Nongwa. One of the uh, uh, one of the son of the the chief priest of the Nongwa people is my friend. Uh, I don't think whether he's online. If he's online now, he's a friend. He's also a follower of Great Benin page. If he's online, I should be able to tell you more. Why, why are all the Oba answering Yoruba name? Which of the name of the Oba that is Yoruba name? First, is Ewai a Yoruba name? Is Iridiawa a Yoruba name? Is Akenzwa a Yoruba name? Is uh, Ayakbae a Yoruba name? Is Akenbuda a Yoruba name? Is Uriogene a Yoruba name? Is Eweka a Yoruba name? Is, uh, is uh, Urugwa a Yoruba name? Is Ayakbuda? A Yoruba name is Owa. A Yoruba name is Obanos. A Yoruba name is Ensoye. A Yoruba name 
is uh, <laughs> etc. So which of the other answers is your banner? And yes, I've I've spoken about rivers in Benin. And one of the rivers I talked about was the Okwai River because I really know the details of how Okwai turned into that river. So I, I can't tell you what I don't know. I don't know. I can't say anybody turned to Ikboba River because Ikboba River has been there from the very beginning of Benin. Adova Ikboba River wa Oh, Saloba Yima Yezeni. Some said a mortar it's meat. A mortar did not trade with. <laughs> yes, I have seen that term. Um, I think I've even seen that movie. It's mythological, it's not historical. A mortar was not trading in the spiritual realm. <laughs> it's mythological. I know, you didn't know that the Ghana Kingdom rightly said to Osadeba Mawadolige, the he didn't know that the present Ghana, the Ghana is different from Ghana Kingdom. Which other? Uh, for the hist history that we know, Obai White did not go to the land, the spiritual world. He sent his trust, the most trusted comrade of why. He himself did not go from the history that I know. Otherwise, everything is mythological. You are very late, Madam Juliet. We are almost rounding up. That's not my phone number. My phone number is 08136 722 162. Not 762. It's 08136 722 162. It's all your language that was not used for everything. What about the issue of Igwebin? You go back to the beginning. I've already explained how Igwebin came about. Uh, oh, okay, sorry. How can I get the evolution of Benin Chief Tencent by Nai Basimi Aweka? Uh, that book is very rare now. I doubt how you can see it. I doubt how you can see that book is very because the author died many years ago. It was one of the brightest brain we have of Benin Extra. Extremely bright. He was he was also a former secretary of Benin Traditional Council. Bright, bright, very bright. And a very bright. I think he died in 1997 or so. So his book is still very popularly read by um, it's, it's more like a book that everybody references all right abolition of benin chief tense titles very very nice book uh the best i can do for you is that the institute for benin study will still have a copy if you are in town anytime you come to town uh we can make you can make a photocopy for yourself i don't know whether you're still going to get that book uh -huh. but you might still be able to get it but no it is quite rare. Mm. TDAB, TD yes, Benin. That's why the believe believe in reincarnation. Yes, we do. That's why in Benin, that it is believed by the principle of reincarnation in Benin that every man, every Benin man must reincarnate 14 times. Not Ikok. Did L.Y. fight with Utoka village? Utoka. I don't think so. I have never read any history where it was recorded that uh, he said no Utoka. Oh, no, no, no. Utoka. It was not L.Y. that fought with Utoka, it was L.Y. son, Ozolwa. Ozolwa fought with Utoka. He said no Utoka, Abi. 
Where is Ise from? Ise not Eruvi. Eruvi was the mother of Ise. Ise no you talker. Uh -huh. it is, it's you talker now. Yes, it was Ozolwa. Ozolwa fought with. It was Ozolwa. I don't think that one is also a myth where Ozola Niba o Miekon. Niba Miekon means the conqueror. Mm -hmm. Ozola Niba o Miekon. Niba o Miekon means, or Niba o Mi, it means conqueror. It was a conqueror. I don't think the source is meat. Alright. We believe in reincarnation. I've answered that. Uh, that's why we said, Ubai we nenu ari agbon. Every binima must come, must reincarnate 14 times. Iriwe village. I will, I will investigate that when the essay. I don't know of that. Possibly it's true. I don't know where his body touched the ground. I don't know. But I will investigate. Yes, the mother of Obaisege is from Ugeudu. I agree. Yes, you are correct. I think there's repetition, sorry. The questions, I don't even know. It was Obai Wakbe, that's a coca. Egba Niwu. There's a story of that Egba Niwu. I think I'll read it out. Egba. <laughs> Uh, Ozola wage war against them. I'll read that one story, it's very funny, but not today. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry, Eric Dan. Thank you for the correction. It's not Utoka, it's Utekon. He said, No, you Utekon. It's Utekon. Sorry, <laughs> Eruvi was also an Utekon woman. Hmm. It's Utekon, not Utoka. It's Utekon. <laughs> See, Yoruba does not pay homage to the ancestor. They pay, but not publicly, openly. They will not tell you. They pay secretly, and they will not tell you. Now, I, I for, for some of you who have been following me, in one of my live videos, I said very clearly, there was a convention that was made by Oni Sijuwade, August 26, 1990. All right? Recorded, you can get that work, August 26, 1990, on Lagos Weekend Newspaper. He made a confession. He said that there was a, an instruction that was left by the founders of Ife that when the Oni is to, on a traditional visit, is to visit the Obar Bini, he must kill seven black cows. I don't know any of you have heard me say that. <laughs> so, what does that imply? So, there is no such law anywhere. Ask any Ife people that says that the Obar Bini will even kill a, kill a chicken. When it's to traditionally visit Ife. But there is a law. There is a tradition that states that when the honor of Ife is to visit Oba Abin, he must sacrifice seven black cows. And it was left. Look at what the Oni Sijuwade said. After he shortly after he came out from the Olojo Festival, August 26, 1990, he said that there was a law that was placed by the founders of Ife that when the all needs to visit Benin. He must slaughter seven black cows. And when the other Benin is to visit Oni, the same Oni must also slaughter two black cows. So that means the founders of Ife place more emphasis on when the Oni is visiting Benin than when Benin than when the other Benin is visiting Ife. That means whoever that plays that law knew that whatever, wherever, or whatever stool the only was sitting upon came from Benin. That is why he placed more emphasis in Benin than Ife. I am not, if you say I am lying, I, I, have, just, I have just told you where to get, I have just told you my reference. Lagos Weekend Newspaper, August 26, 1990. That's what, that was a confession. The on is late on is said. 
So we give not just fact, we give reference. Uh, I don't possibly. He said came from Utekon. Yes, it's Utekon. Yes. He says from Utekon. Correct. I agree. Not to talk her. It was a mistake on my part. No, I was trying to remember. And uh, when I went show. Uh, not all communities that have uh, a no gain now. I will find that the story of Uge will do. I think it still valid the date because Ekwa ne wakbe ya ya seni koka amami ya seri on. Every oba binim possesses a totem. Two osoni gyogyo ososo maye ososo maye the ososo maye that. Or by work by using placing costs at Ikoka on Ikoka, he threw it away. And though uh, we could not find the, the other subsequent orbas, it could not find that Ososo Maye to revoke that cost. To revoke that cost, and that's why it's difficult to revoke it. And that cost is not on the entire community, it's only on the men, on the men, not women. You understand? All right. So, <laughs> I think I've been able to take uh, some questions and I've been able to answer. I've been able to answer. Can you please tell us the story of uh, by Heng Buddha and the wife he married from Udo? Name uh, uh, I don't know that story. You can, if you have, you can enlighten me. We could talk after this uh, program so that you can enlighten me on that story. I don't know that story of the wife a Heng Buddha. I know what I know of was that mm -hmm. Heng Buddha had extreme difficulty in touching women it was very difficult as they say his stepmother went to almost all the shrines in benin kingdom as they say so that he can he can touch a woman he eventually touched a woman and only one son came out from that their uh, sexual intercourse or whatever and uh, he was called odobo who eventually became obao but I know he had other daughters like Princess Isiwa. Princess Isiwa was the first child of Obayeng Buddha that he married to uh, Iyasek Menedi. The, the princess that Iyasek Menedi eventually killed. After Obayeng Buddha killed the only son of Ekmenedi uh, called Idodia. Hmm, I remember that, but I didn't know which of the women that gave birth to Princess Isiwa or uh oh one's mother a hembuda's mother was umelu queen umelu i remember that a hembuda's mother when the princely name of a hembuda was odjawato prince odjawato or the hembuda he now i umelu queen umelu uh, uh, she drowned herself in a well the well is still inside the palace we call that well Ukuwu, the well of Ukuwu. She drowned herself because she had thought that her son was killed. That is who eventually became Obai Heng Buddha. Uh, so some chiefs lied against uh, Prince Odiawato that he slept with his father's wife. That's Obaoruba. Obaoruba was a Heng Buddha's wife. That he slept with Obai's wife. So, uh, when he was leaving Uselu, he told his mother that if there is a ha if there is a, a, a one chance, like if there is a single uproar in 
that the mother should know that he is victorious. But if there is a double opera, that the mother should know that uh, he will be killed. So when he got to Benin, when the entire Benin people saw him, there was an opera like, hey, it die can, die can. So when he won the case in the palace, that when he was, uh, when he won the case, that he was, he was, uh, he was innocent of the accusation. There was a, a second opera. So his mother thought that they were going to kill his son. So instead, she didn't want to, uh, she didn't want to uh, experience the death of his only son. So he drowned herself in a well now called Okuwu. It's still inside the palace to date. Uh -huh. So eventually it turned out that the son was um, innocent and was set free. Uh, yes, not for bad. Uh, which is true of Okuwu. Uh, I don't. I'll probably find that what is true. Mark Bane losing time. Uh, anyway, we are planning that already. If not because of the coronavirus, that's something we're planning. Uh, it will happen by God's grace and eternal salute by first Alopio Sazua. Hopefully, in the future. All right. Uh, all right. Ozola was not killed at Uzie. Was not killed at Uzie. I will I will talk about the Ozola stories next week Sunday or so. Ozola was not Ozola was mortally injured at Uzie. There was or there was a prophecy that Ozola should never wage war at Uzi against Uzi people because the native man that gave the sham that Ay the first used that that begot Ozola was from Uzi. So the native doctor said that Ozola was going to come to Uzi and kill him. But Obaiwai made a proclamation, a prophecy, that if my son dared to come to Uzie to wage war against Uzie people, in which I am their benefactor, Ozolwa will not survive that war. So Ozolwa eventually, as against, he was an Oba that was so funny. He, he, Amaona de Gbemie, Omana, Nati Ozolwa were do. He, the only thing he knew all through his reign was war. He fought more war than his own father. Ay the first, as brave, as strong, as mighty as Ay was, Ay the first was Ozola fought more war, and that's why it was called Niba Omiyekon, the conqueror. He fought more war than his father. Everything about Ozola was war. All right, so he was warned, severally, that he can fight all war, and he will win. But if he fight Uzi war, he will win, but he will not return. So eventually, he fought that war, he won. But he was mortally wounded. Eventually, he was rushed. Then he died at Eho. I was faking down to Benin to be buried. He did not die at Uzi, but he was mortally wounded. We know that story very well. Mm. I think Ojo is a Benin word. It's not a typical Yoruba word. It's majorly by Ondo people who are by ancestry and offshoot of Benin themselves. So it's more of like a pro Benin on the world. Which of the Obas mother? A death Jack in Samaria Bear. Which of the Obas mother? Yeah, he was mortally wounded at Uzier, but eventually Utona Yoruba were Eho. But he didn't die at Eho. Oza. Uh, oh, my generator! <laughs> Wait, nah, <laughs> not be America, not be Europe with you, and Nigeria. You must, 
I want a sea light for Bini. For Bini. No, oh, you will. You must burn. You must burn. Together, I know you must burn generator. Now, generator will burn every every day. Anyway, thank you very much. I think um, I'll be rounding up now, any moment from now. The little thing I quickly want to say that uh, what time is it? What time is it? Uh, we spent quite a long time. We started this program at 7, 7 30. Spent about an hour, 25 minutes. Okay. Uh, the little thing I want to say I think the question and the answer segment is, uh, is off. Um, I want to first and foremost appreciate all of you that made them that made those donations. Uh, two of our brothers made a donation. The one sent eighty thousand, the other one said fifty thousand. We we're able to get uh, packages, food packages for twenty families. That was distributed yesterday, and they were very happy. Thank God we are not Nigeria government that shares in two Indomies. We share quite a very good um, package for people that could last them for weeks. Um, then uh, we have realized about 230,000 for the donations that you guys have made. So hopefully on Wednesday this week, uh, we'll look for some trusted beautiful ladies of Edo Extract to go and get uh, foodstuffs so that we can then also make very good package, not too much. Not We don't want to give to 50 families where you have been giving 5 kg rice or 1 rubber of rice. No, it's 10 kg. That's about 3 rubber of rice or so then. Uh, a lot of beans, yam and all that. Granite oil and all that that was in the package. It's quite a heavy package. So our intention is to get... Um, we have realized about 230,000 thus far. That's very encouraging. I have to congratulate all of you for being... Uh, for being benevolent, for being kind-hearted. So we are going to... We're going to get full stops that probably will take care of about 35 to 40 families. 35 to 40 families? Yes. We can take care of about 35 to 40 families. With um, about 230,000 that we have or so. Um, we will um, get full stops. Then, please, 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 ladies and gentlemen, I have to quickly say this. If you know you have any indigent family, any any family around you in your area in your locality that is poor that really really please when i mean poor really poor not those who can buy data who can still subscribe their phone to do tata phone facebook or twitter no we're not looking for that kind of a family we're not looking for youth young guys we're looking for those who really need the widows oh more widows and widower people really those people who are sick who could no longer walk those who are handicapped, but Edo people, Edo people. Some say I shouldn't be tribalistic, but Edo people, or generally, let's just say any person that really, really needs it. All right, really, really needs it. Like yesterday, we went to distribute to uh, various homes. It was stressful. So we still have about seven packages left from that 20. So, but what we want to do before the week runs, and maybe on Friday, we'll tell people if you can, we'll be able to identify, we'll tell people to come to. Institute for Benin Studies at the back of the palace to come and pick a package. It's not going to be stress free. It's not going to be stress free. You just come pick a package and go. All right. We're not we don't want to do publicity and all that about it, like taking up pictures and all that. All we just want to do is like really affect these people, make the change, feed this family, and um, so that uh, God and our ancestors can bless us mm -hmm. better than what, um, like, like better than what. Uh, God is blessing us with already. So, uh, not be, <laughs> not be, we go feed our enemies. I be, okay, we don't feed our enemies. Most especially those Igbo people. Most especially those Igbo people. We don't feed them. <laughs> hey, they are too much. Let them take care of their own people. So, Edo people, we're going to take care of only Edo family. <laughs> we're going to take care of whether you are Bini, whether you are Esan, whether you are Onwa. Whether you are a Sako, whether you are Koko Edo, just if you know any of those indigent, needy families around you that are Edo family, please contact us. Contact my Facebook page is Imason Amogu Ezodo. You don't need to know me. You just need to uh, you just need to chat me up that you have a family 
not you you can't definitely be none of you should is online yeah ah uh, sorry i won't be able to talk about that chijo kemanui kwokman yahi or saya wedo maybe in other subsequent time but we are dealing with something really very important now so <clears throat> you are you're being a racist what racist well do you think you're about people who do the, who, do you think you're about elites who do donations and share to Edo people in their land. Come of it. What racist? I'm not a racist. I'm just saying that Edo first. There's nothing racist about that. Uh huh. Edo first. There's nothing racist about that. If you think I'm a racist, that that that's your own take. That's your own take. I'm not being racist. I'm, I'm being real. So we shouldn't deceive ourselves. Ibos are not Benin. Yorubas are not Benin. Uh -huh. So, boy, if it's our cousins and sisters like those, Ika those that are ancestrally connected to Benin, Urubo, Shekiri, some part of Shekiri, uh, uh, those Ekbeye, those Ikwiri, these are Benin descendants, yes, you can consider but not Igbos, nor Yoruba, or Asa, those are not part of us. So, like I've said, uh, uh, what mental, I think that's the mental we've been using. People identify people really, really poor, really, really poor on Facebook really really poor that you have around you to, uh, we we're gonna give a venue for people for them to come and pick a package and just go we can't go to their homes at worst still we can reduce the package mm -hmm. to a 30 so that we can if it's 500 naira we cannot make available for these people to take home to take home as transportation because some of these people are really 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 poor all right uh, no one wants to be in the situation that some people are but uh, if we are in that situation, we should be able to do happy hands to these people. So mm -hmm. these people that are coming, we could be able to make 500 naira, 1,000. It depends on how much we now have left as transportation for them. Which... I, so, I haven't said that, ladies and gentlemen. So please... The, the donation is still open. Uh, the the donation is still open. Should the case those who want to see make the poor. Yes, the the poor of the poorest. Yes, just like Osumbo have said, the poor of the poorest is what we are targeting. If we can, let's go to them. No, no. What is Mr. Ken? Yes, we went to them yesterday, Mr. Osumbo. We went to them yesterday. See, we were only able to distribute 13. Some will be at Ekenwan Barra. Some will be at Ego. Some will be at Oluku. Some will be at um, uh, Egba, at Aduawa. Then some will be at Idogbo, at Opa. If you understand Benin very well, these places are far apart. We started distribution around 10. By 10, it was 4 where it was Osasu, uh, the girl who runs Educated Osasu. She really tried. She was the one who was driving. She was really tired. She was really, really, really tired. You know how stressful it can be. You know, it was really, really tiring. So, we want to help, but it's really, really stressful, my brother. So, that's why we're saying the poor among the poorest, they can find their way to the back of the palace. That is central. That's ring road. It's central. So, we'll still give them tea face. 500 naira, we have a 1,000 naira for them to go back home. So that's what we are pleading. We know it's difficult. We have actually seen these people. Some don't even have 50 naira. Some, some might not have even. Some of them might not have even seen 2,000 naira for the whole of this year. So it's really, really difficult. They can borrow money to get here. We will sure we'll pay them back. It's fair for them to go back. So please, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank all of you. You guys have been so very exceptional to our cause. Let us keep sharing the love. Let's reignite the love amongst all the Edo, whether you've been in, whether it is, and let's not, let's not divide ourselves for these our neighbors to prick on. Anybody who, div who preaches division, it's an enemy of our land. All right, We should keep on preaching unity, and we should understand that we are brothers and sisters, and there is nothing like one being superior to the other. Asans and Benins are ancestrally related. Asians are ancestrally from Benin. So, and that is how to put it. Not 
uh, Asans, uh, Benins, uh, Asans, Elder Brother, that kind of a thing. I don't subscribe to using of such words. I only will say Asans are sexually from Benin and it ends there. Asa calls or ones are sexually from Benin and it ends there. So respect is mutual. We will learn to respect them. They will learn to respect us. That's how I am an advocate of peace. But just like I advocate for Ishekiri and uh, some part of Ishekiri, some people in Ishekiri ancestrally Benin advocate for peace at all times. But if they are now overdoing it, then I will not have to strike and have to put them in their right place. Don't forget, Avon, the last time I talked about the origin of Ologbo, they are no longer, they try to go and edit their story. They are no longer saying Ikaya is the founder of Ologbo. They are not saying that it was Ikaya's father. Can you beat that? So I have completely historically reset their brain and make them know that we don't talk trash, we talk facts. And facts that can be referenced. Facts that is verifiable. Facts that was not concocted. Facts that is factual. That kind of a thing. I just say any family, no one is saying the particular family. My phone number is 081367221162. Lovely Igbinowo Dua. 081367221162. That's my phone number. We are Benins. B E N I N, not B I N I. Yes, uh, everybody knows that the Kale people. Okay, remind me, Bibiana, a Bodari, the Kale people are purely. Uh, I wrote, I wrote a letter to the Ogoga. Ogoga is the traditional head of the Kale people. The Ogoga. Or uh, go to Ikale www.ikale.com, where you see the the website. They don't deny that they are Benin people. So their paramount ruler is called Ogoga. O G O G A. It doesn't deny. Ikale is not just a people. The the first person that est that founded Ikale town was called uh, was from Uselu. So the Yorubas called him Ade Ade Sulu because he was from Uselu. You understand? Then before one of the princes, one of the sons of Obaru Boa went to became the first king of the Kale people so Ikale was established by a Benin man and the kingship is also Benin descent until date one of the sons of Orugwa went to establish became the first king and it is the same line of the Kale people so those stories uh, uh, the Kale people the Ikare Ekiti these, these are also another pure Benin descendant, Ikare Ekiti. I will also I'll find time to talk about Ikare people, Ikare Ekiti, some part of Ondo and all that, to talk about them. So we are very, we are very much acquainted with that um, history. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, no, not Ogagun. It's Ogoga. O G O. Is it Ogagun or Ogoga? Maris, Maris. That looks like my name. Where's it called? Kale is in Ondo. Okay. Uh, I haven't said that. Uh, I think we are running on now. Uh, well, we're not going to dwell on that. Any Benin who said that is not knowledgeable. Bibiana, Bodage, have said if a sons are uh, Benin uh, ancestral P connected. A sons are ancestrally Benin. So, uh, so my ancestor would have been a son if my ancestors had left during the time of Obaiwai the first. 
I would have been innocent. And maybe if your ancestor didn't leave, you would have been Benin, I would have been innocent. So it's the same thing. If if my great 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 grandfather left to Germany, all right, it doesn't make him. It might be nationally German, but ancestrally Benin. So that's the same thing with Asians. Might not be Asians now, but ancestrally Benin. So, oh sorry, Mary, you came late. We are rounding up now. So, uh, I want to thank all of you. So the donation is still open. We have our bank account. Make a donation so that we can be able to get more. Uh, we have, uh, bro. What can we do to promote or improve on our herbal medicine? Uh, <laughs> I don't know that. I don't. <laughs> I don't have an idea. But I think you can. You can. You can contact a bond on that. <laughs> that one is off my jurisdiction. <laughs> that one is off my jurisdiction. <laughs> I have a medicine. I don't know what helps. I don't. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> you contact herbal practitioners. So that's how we can improve. No, that one's off my jurisdiction. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Cheers, people. Let us learn to stay safe. Let us learn to stay safe. So I want to thank all of you who have been following our program, who has been very supportive to our cause. Wherever all the Edo people, or all the Benin people, when I say Edo people, when I say Benin people, I mean the same thing. That the first thing we need to get clear. I tried to explain it yesterday that, or some some few days ago, that Edo is like the administrative headquarters of Benin people. So if you say you are an Edo person, you are inherently a Benin person. All right. So wherever all Edo persons are, wherever all Benin persons are. Uh, I will, I will pray to God collectively and our ancestors and to those who are Christians, to Jesus Christ, to those who are Muslims, to so Allah, to continue to guide and protect all Edo people from these pandemics. But while praying, while believing in our different faiths, we should also understand that health practitioners are saying that social distancing is a way of uh, uh, staying indoors, these are practical ways washing your hands and all that everybody knows all those summer so i don't want but we should stay safe we should stay safe we should stay safe and being being having a good moral conduct and conducting ourselves in the face of the world that we are do people and my tea we will not mark back although my we will not mark back but we should start seeing ourselves as that adult people who we are at one point in history very morally just we should inculcate that part as being very integral in our day-to-day -day activities. I know that a whole lot of things are going on on Facebook and it's majorly a lot of Edo people. So, but we are different. We are different. Um, we are very different. We are breeds of Edo people who is trying to change the narrative that not all Edo people misbehave on social media. So people still look at some of these programs and see that Yes, we can actually watch some programs that are enlightening. Which are, we can watch some programs that are very educating, and that's why we are. We have to step up. Our forum has to step up. We have to tell the whole world that there are still some Edo people who are genuinely want to put the Edo, um, uh, Edo in the right limelight, in the positive, in the positive limelight, not the negative that uh, some of us have. Uh, come to now spell Benin or Edo people as. So I want to thank all of you. You guys have been most uh, very wonderful for keeping for being here with me for over an hour almost two hours. It means you guys are exceptionally very 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 amazing in heart and patience and in duty to learn your history, your culture. So I'm, I'm grateful I'm thankful to all of you. So let's keep the fire burning. Let's keep the Edo flag burning. Let's represent, let's be good ambassador of the land that our ancestors fought so very hard, 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 hard for. <laughs> I'm trying to use the right words. So, but whatever the history that we share, a lot of these things that we have done, it's because we had great ancestors who, who really made great history. So it is now our time to protect those legacies of our great ancestors. So I want to thank all of you. Why are we saying? Um, so, 
or bag a talk by you. It's set. So I, I'll see you when I'll see you. But in case I don't see you soon enough, know that every 8 o'clock on Sunday, 8 o'clock p.m. Nigeria time, 8 o'clock p.m. or 8 p.m. Nigeria time, uh, I always come online. But there are exception days. There are days where there are exceptions, rather. Sorry, my English has been terrible today. Maybe it was a do. Oh, my desu. Nimiya, imi na mo ba wasunu. Eh, do zege wa we la. A video we do zege temi so. I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, there are some days that I just come online because there are things to talk about and very, very quite important. Otherwise, it's every Sunday, 8 o'clock. So join me. I thank you all of you. My name remains in Maswa Namo Gezodua. And um, I appreciate all of you so well. Uh, about our talk by you. It's it.